Hello, welcome to Kingston Warwood College again. I'm Nigel Hewish, I'm the head gardener. Today we're looking at hardwood cuttings. There's a number of things that we can grow from hardwood cuttings. Uh, Forsythia, uh, cornus, um, uh, buddleias, um, ribes, uh, various things that we can do at this time of year, November going into December. And we're looking at taking hard wood, so substantial stems uh, of uh, the shrub and creating cuttings that we can then put in the garden or if we haven't got a garden into a pot. So we can start by cutting uh, below a node, straight cut and then roughly 20 or 30 centimetres and above a node at the top and we cut at an angle. So flat at the bottom sloping at the top we can then remember which is the top and which is the bottom so that we get it the cutting in the right way up we can do that we can make a number of cuttings off of one stem um, we're looking at roughly um, pencil thickness or a bit thicker so flat at the bottom and then 20 or 30 centimeters and sloping at the top and there's our uh, cuttings and we can do the same with uh, cornice this is uh, one of the uh, red uh, barked uh, cornice dogwoods uh, again we can cut flat below a node at the bottom and then 20 or 30 centimeters and a sloping cut to produce our cuttings and they these can be put into uh, the, the garden I've started a row here and we can pop another one in there. Now I've made a pilot hole uh, but when I push the cutting in I push it just a little bit further so that it's in good contact with the soil. Now that's okay if you've got a row across the garden uh, but if you haven't got enough space for that you've got uh, vegetables in your garden well why not use your hardwood cutting as the marker for the end of your vegetable row. So you can put one at, at one end, about two thirds of the way down of the cutting, and then one at the other end. That will mark the row for the season. And then at the end of the season, next autumn, you can dig them up and you've got two new plants. So if you haven't got an area in the garden where you can put some hardwood cuttings, then you could put them into a pot. We're using a long tom pot so that we've got extra depth. Again, we can make a pilot hole and pop the cutting in two thirds of the way down and all the way round the outside of the pot. And that pot then could go either into a cold frame or into a sheltered part of the garden. So here we're looking at layering and here's a layer of a Viburnum bodden and tents that we layered last year. And there we go, we've got him out and we can pull up. And here we can see the, the old chute coming down and where it's gone into the ground and then has produced this nice root system uh, that we can then uh, plant and transplant. So we can then take our secateurs and we can cut that off uh, there. So what we can do then is bring a new shoot and bend it down uh, to the ground and just put it, push it into the surface and then we can peg that down with a piece of wire and we can poke that in like so. And then we can just cover that back over and if we want we can then put a cane in just to hold that shoot up. So there we have hardwood cuttings 
put in in November and ready for plants next November. And layers done the same. This November, ready for next November. Next time we'll be looking at pruning fruit trees, apples and pears.